Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot, bringing Sagittarius their monthly love read. Sagittarius, this is for June 2022. We are going to get um, information about the person on your mind. We're going to do their thoughts and feelings, the blockages and actions and outcomes. I know this is a bit condensed from what I usually do, but uh, I'm trying to get these reads out because they're already a couple days behind. Um, we're going to pull some Destined Love Oracle cards, uh, a couple of message decks, and then we're going to close the read off with Heart Songs of the 90s, Songs in the Keys of Love from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. So these are general reads. Guys, please keep that in mind. If you feel like this is not your read, um, then go ahead and check your moon and your rising signs. If you're unsure what your moon and your rising signs are, um, there is a link in the description box below that'll take you to a web page to get to that information. And there's also a link in the description box below that'll take you to my personal web page to get you a personal read. If you're so interested in one, check it out. Um, all right, guys. So Sagittarius, what is your person thinking or feeling? Um, we have the Hermit card, which is a Virgo card, but, um, I feel like your person, we have the Nine of Wands, Six of Wands, and Page of Pentacles. Uh, your person is feeling like a wounded warrior with this Nine of Wands. Um, your person is feeling like they have been kind of dragged through the mud, um, but they're not giving up. Thankfully for you, Sagittarius, they're not giving up. They're going to persevere and be persistent and hold on to hopes that this is not over yet. They are not laying down their wands yet. The Ten of Wands is like laying down your burdens. They're still fighting for this. Um, they are in a healing phase. I feel like they might pull themselves back um, or might have pulled themselves away from the connection or in some capacity to kind of do some growing and healing and ascending. Um, I feel like they are isolating themselves a bit um, to, to make sure that they are on the right path, um, but they're not giving up. They are also really thinking, Sag, that this is um, going to be a victorious situation that love will conquer all. But they are well aware that this is a slow and steady paced situation. This is not something that's going to turn overnight or, or be successful overnight. That it's going to require lots of patience, lots of work, and slow movement. What are the blockages between you and this person, Sagittarius? What are the blockages between you and this person? Uh, the blockages are you are not working together and you are not communicating well. <laughs> Teamwork and communication. Um, this is not happening. Someone is keeping themselves super guarded and blocked off and not open. Uh, it's a very shut down kind of energy. And, and once again, a very slow moving energy. So there's not a lot of movement happening. Not a lot of forward movement. It's closed off energy. Not good communication and not good teamwork. That's the blockage in your situation, Sagittarius. What are the actions your person's going to be taking towards you? What are the actions your person's going to be taking towards you? Page or Knight of Cups. They're going to come with a big love, love, love offer towards you. Um, I feel like there's a lot of sadness that surrounds this relationship or this situation. But there's so much passion, you guys. Um, so what actions are taking, um, I feel like someone is kind of s s in this sad energy, right? So someone is hurting, um, but even with their hurting, they're going to come and offer you this Knight of Cups energy. This is like a, someone coming in on a white horse, trying to save the day that there's a, there's a white horse, there's a bouquet of roses or bouquet, however you say it. There's um, a love letter. There's a picnic. There's a bottle of wine. This person's going to be bringing out all the stops. They could be asking you to like date them, to go on a date, to go grab coffee, to um, marry them, to move in with them. They could be asking a lot of things. But you guys, the actions are the king and queen of wands. This person is so passionate about you. This person is so connected to you. Um, I think this is you and them, right, Sag? Because you're a fire sign. So both of these cards really remind me of Leo. This one even more so than the queen of wands. The queen of wands usually is always a Leo to me. She does have a cat in her lap, but um, 
this is a fiery connection. This is a passionate connection. This person wants to take action in terms of passion as well. <laughs> um, there's love and passion. They're going to be coming towards you. They're going to be um, flirty. They're going to be sexy. They're going to be lots of fun to be around. They're going to make outward, out, make it outwardly known how much they are attracted to you. What's going to be the outcome between you and this person, Sagittarius? What's going to be the outcome between you and this person? All right. Wow, nice. Queen of Cups energy on the bottom. So I feel like, and that's true love with temperance and then the lovers. So true love, soulmate energy, guys. It's going to take some patience, um, but there's a true, true, true love situation here. Um, so the outcome is going to be lots of love, lots of empathy, lots of sympathy, compassion, um, at least from someone. <laughs> um, they're definitely loving you and showing you their love. Um, I feel like the outcome is, you know, I feel like someone's kind of feeling stuck at a crossroads. Someone's kind of feeling blinded, but you're, that person's going to get their clarity and karma is going to shift and go into their favor. So um, I feel like your person or you or the, the outcome of the situation is going to be one that you are going to get clarity on. Um, you're going to know what you want. You're going to see things for what they are. You're going to know your person's intention intentions you're gonna think with your heart or your head and not your heart as much um, but you're gonna really be aware and clear as to what this person really wants they're they're um genuine i feel like their um wants desires and love for you are genuinely very real um and they're they're very stable people um, and I think you're going to get that clarity. And I think karma is going to start shifting in your favor of this relationship. And then we have the king of pentacles. So this is this is not only love, it's stability, it's commitment, it's loyalty. It is someone being a caretaker and a provider. It's someone being financially stable to support. Um, it's a very um, committed, loyal, loving relationship. And that's the outcome, right? That's the outcome of a situation, which is really nice, guys. I feel like I I flew through yours so far, Sagittarius. We're going to get a couple of Destined Love Oracle cards from Ayana Spiritual Babe Tarot. Gift. Temptation. Waiting. Communication and trust. Um... All right, so we do have temptation in here. I don't know if temptation is like a, a, a worry. I don't really see temptation taking over anywhere in the read, in the, in the cards that are already out, except for the first row where the thoughts and feelings, perhaps there have been um, someone that was tempted before in the past and someone kind of stepped out, not necessarily even in your relationship, but that might be why your person is feeling like a wounded warrior. Um, but I do see, you know, with this page or this Knight of Cups energy, um, the Knight of Cups is coming in with offers. There's going to be some love offers, so it could potentially be a gift. Um, there's definitely going to take some patience, right, guys? It's going to be kind of a waiting situation. Things are going to be moving slow and steadily, so there's going to be some need to wait. But communication, um, as you move forward, will build trust. So I see you guys being able to communicate. Communication and working together is the blockage currently. So I see it moving towards communication and trust, which is really good. Really nice, Sagittarius. All right, let's get a couple of White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages, Volume 2 for Sagittarius. You leave me breathless and without words. Oh, how I wish I could hold you tonight. Where do we go from here? And then my entire being and body is attracted to you, which is that king and queen of wands. <laughs> All right. Um, we're going to pull a couple cards from You Have My Heart, Soul Lovers and Separation from Angelic Revelation 144. Um, so if, um, if you feel like this is a person that on your mind that's 
that you're in separation from um, that might be coming back to you, then take what take these cards. If you feel like this is going to be a new person that you're like, no, I don't even have anybody, um, then just skip this part. Um, I don't have anybody coming back. Then skip this part, okay? Um, I stopped believing in love, but after seeing your smile, I became a believer again. I love you with all my heart, mind, body, and soul. I didn't think it was possible to feel this much. Thoughts of you fill my head. And I'm planning a romantic trip, trip for us to reconnect. I want to cherish you with loving adoration. All right, guys. We're going to finish this read Sagittarius with a Heart Songs of the 90s Songs in the Keys of Love card from Celestial Forecast by Carrie. So these songs are from the 90s. They're actual song lyrics. Um, they're snippets from the song, so even if you know the whole song, that doesn't mean the whole song resonates. Just, um, just or the whole song is not the message. It's just the snippet from the the song. Um, the song itself might be a song that you're like, oh my gosh, that's totally my jam. That was my favorite song from the '90s. Or you might feel like um, this reminds you of a specific person. Or it could just be that you need to listen to the lyrics. So let's see what card we got for you, Sagittarius. Um, we have maybe by Katie Ling. Maybe I am dreaming. Maybe I am doomed. Maybe I'm destitute. Maybe I love you. Maybe I'll ask or no. Maybe I won't. It could be a disaster. It could be disaster. No, maybe it won't. Maybe if I do, it may be that maybe you love me too. All right, guys, that concludes the reading for you, Sagittarius's. Thank you so much, guys, for coming to my channel. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate your support so much more than you realize. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, guys. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye.